So as I'm on my way to Dan's house for this evening's hunt, um, recap this morning a little bit. Not much movement. We pulled a card from a camera that was close by and there was a lot of deer movement from 11 o'clock last night till about 5.30 this morning. So uh, one good shooter on camera between 2 and 4.30, he was in there. And on our way out, we uh, walked the creek that runs along the woods that we were hunting. And there was probably, I don't even know, I didn't even count, four or five, maybe six fresh scrapes from last night, no doubt about it. Um, so this morning was kind of a bust just because they were moving so late last night. But hopefully they're on their feet this afternoon. Like I said, I'm on my way to Dan's house. And we are hunting a spot tonight that is, uh, hasn't been hunted yet. We got good bucks on camera still during daylight. And uh, hopefully he can get it done tonight. Until then, bye bye. Fancy meeting you here. Gotta get the goods. Where are the goods? Where's cool. he going? The garage is open. He's running all the way around the house. You're gonna have a good night with Dan. Yep. Stevie's heading to Missouri tonight. And uh, Dan and I are walking all the way back there. Dan, you ready to go uh, smack a big one tonight? All right, Steve. Oh, good luck, boys. Good luck in Missouri. Have fun driving. Oh, uh, that, that'll work. That's good. All right, you ready to head to the stand? Away we go. Quietly. We failed. No deer, no nothing. But I am the angriest though out of the two of us. Why is that? Why? Whoa, you want to know why? I lost $40 in dinosaur tickets for God's sakes trying to get a deer. Oh, go in the woods, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's a it actually was fun, but still it happened. It's the sacrifices you have to make, man. Yeah, like, yeah, all victories come at a price, and all choices have consequences. Anything else to say to the viewers? No. Not tonight? Not tonight. No victory screech. We'll be back. We'll be back soon enough. I am by myself tonight. Kind of warmed up a little bit today. It's like mid-60s, but still better than what it's been. And, uh southeast wind tonight so I'm going and sitting over a ravine that's right beside a cornfield um, yeah hopefully we have some movement tonight I don't, I'm not expecting movement until later tonight it's currently 340 right now so should be in the stand by 415 430 and be there for the rest of the night hopefully show you some deer because so far this weekend there hasn't been any. So, I'll catch you in the woods. Peace. Not only is it a good cover scent, it smells really good too. Time to go hunt. Sitting over top. 
this big flat that's out in front of me. Then I got a ravine behind me. And then on the other side of the ravine is a bunch of, well, there's like three cornfields, so. Got a nice path that comes right below me. <coughs> there's bedding off to my east and off to my west. That way we actually made the west bedding. Did a bunch of inch cuts a couple years ago. We got south wind tonight. South, south, southeast wind. So, see if something don't cruise through here tonight. We can get a shot at it.
Well, <clears throat> I was wrong. That didn't end my night. Ended up having two button bucks come through the bottom and uh, well, through the ravine. And five minutes after them, a good buck came through. Well, come from the south up to the up to the road and I didn't have enough shooting light to I, I probably could have shot him but I didn't feel comfortable taking the shot so I just let him go and him and them button bucks hung out for about 20 minutes in front of me this close all part of hunting so heading to a different property tomorrow morning all by myself hanging and hunting so hopefully tomorrow we can get it done actually a year year ago from tomorrow is when I shot my buck and I'm going to the same property I did that on so hopefully it brings me some good luck but until then this is it it's a wrap oh this close mm. <sighs> happens though See y'all later.